Here at the UK's largest wave tank in Gosport, researchers are testing a new device that could cheaply convert wave energy into power. The anaconda is a rubber tube filled with fresh water that floats just at the sea's surface. It's anchored at one end and its tail trails out in the direction of passing waves. As each wave passes along the device, the pressure of its peak squeezes the tube. It generates a traveling bulge that moves just in front of the water wave. These bulges just grow and grow from the nose of the device, which is pointing into the waves, and to the tail. They get bigger and bigger, and at the tail, you have an energy density maybe 10 times uh, what there is in the water wave, and you then have to capture that bulge wave energy in a power takeoff. When the bulge reaches the end of the tube, water is forced through a high-pressure valve and into a conventional turbine that drives an electric generator. The team is currently trying to increase the efficiency of the device by varying the pressure inside and experimenting with different designs. We have the device um, uh, wired up. What we're interested in doing is looking at the energy that's been uh, dissipated in our device, in our power takeoff, and comparing it with the energy that's available from the waves that are actually coming into the device. So far, results are looking positive, but the model being tested is only 8 metres long, compared to the real thing, which will measure 200 meters. If trials go well, the first full-scale prototypes will begin ocean testing in the next three years. 50 anacondas deployed off the coast could create enough electricity to power 50,000 homes and provide a viable alternative to non-renewable energy.